Hey, what is up, what is up, what is up, everybody? So today, I am even more excited than normal because today, in this box, I got the Creality CR10 3D printer. Now, if you're asking what's the Creality CR10 3D printer, well, this is said to be, by most people, the best 3D printer under $500. Some people even say like the seven, $800 range too. It has a build volume of 300 by 300 by 400. So you can print giant stuff. Uh, maybe you're into like, you want to make a cosplay helmet or something, or your next Halloween costume or something. This would be a great printer to do it on. Uh, I've seen a lot of other reviews on this. It looks like this is going to be one of the best printers I've seen. Um, it's really going to be a toss-up between this and the Anycubic i3 Mega, on which is my best printer. But just on build size alone, it's going to take the cake on that for sure. So I'm very excited to check this thing out. So let me make sure the camera's at a right angle because it's a giant box. And let's open it up together, and yeah, let's check this baby out. Alright guys, this box is quite giant, so let's open it up. I Hopefully I'm opening the right side up. Giant, giant box. Oh, and very nice because inside that box is a separate box. So that was just the shipping box. This is actually the manufacturer's box here. Oh yeah, nice manufactured box. Carefully pull that over. It looks like that was the other side. Okay, so we can get rid of this first box. Make sure that's all in frame good. Yeah, so. We got 3D printer, CR10, Creality 3D. Uh, it's got the QR code, Shenzhen, Creality 3D Technology Co. Uh, official website, creality3d.cn. Um, a, hot, a service hotline, and everything. So yeah, really cool. Tells you which side to open up. So this is the top, obviously. This is uh, labeled quite nice, actually. Quite a nice box. Better than most... Uh, printers package very very nice styrofoam or whatever kind of foam that you call it. Uh, on and more styrofoam. Stop right here so you guys can see. It is basically just the bed assembly and the gantry. It's got a cellophane keeping it all together. So let me carefully take this part out. Set this right here. So here we have the bed, the whole y-axis and everything all already assembled and then in this part of the box here here we have all the electrical components are all in this box so this is very nice here's the gantry looks like yes uh, it comes with a roll of tape uh, it does have a glass bed so I mean I actually prefer to just well I might try the tape I usually just use a little glue stick when it's on glass bed uh, it is a heated bed says it can do ABS and PLA. We will uh, check that out. Overall construction, Joe, just taking it out of the box though, feels very, very nice. Here's the old gantry. Let's carefully set that down. And that, so that's everything in the box. Also guys, we have this box, I forgot to mention. Oh, in this box, we got a small a small spool of PLA, white PLA. A USB connected to the computer, SD card reader, power cord, all the tools, we got a pair of wire clippers, some zip ties, all the Allen wrenches, Instructions with parts list, manufacturer warranty, print removal tool, metal 
for that. And our couple brackets we need to assemble. So, oh, and we also have a needle to, if you get a nozzle clog, to help unclog the nozzle. So, super cool. And a Bowden tube. So, awesome. So, yeah, this shouldn't be very hard to assemble. Just a couple parts, only one box, a bag of screws. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to put this together and we'll time lapse it. So, let's do it. Right, guys it went together like a breeze super easy everything was labeled really good the instructions were basically just one piece of paper but I didn't even really need them it, everything was so easy I already printed out on my other printer some upgrade parts for it so I got a strain relief I haven't put that on yet but I put on these big um, tuning knobs so I'm gonna go in level the bed let's uh, fire off some test prints and let's see what this baby can do Okay, so I've been getting amazing results with PLA, so let's see if it can handle some ABS now. Um, yeah, it's a big bed, so for it to get that hot, you know, that's, it's, you know, I'll be very impressed if it's able to print this without an enclosure or without any modifications, but, yeah, so let's try this stuff out. Okay, guys, so it took a very long time, like, like 40 minutes or something, but it's actually hot enough now where I can print uh, ABS no problem. Uh, this is a very big bed, so for it to heat up even past like 80, 80, 85 degrees, I am very, you know, I'm blown away by that. So, let's see how the hatch box actually goes through it. I have it all ready in there. I already, um, you know, primed my nozzle and everything. So, I'm just going to do the same benchy, but in ABS. So, let's do it. Right, guys so final thoughts on the CR10 this thing is freaking awesome uh, it can print little things like this you know this Benchy this Marvin or it can print giant things like this vase I mean ugh, like take a look at this again in the, in the sunlight like it is perfect like you can't see any of the layers it is literally perfect this giant build volume uh, I'm gonna be my brother wants me to make him a doom guy helmet for Halloween so 
I'm gonna have to do that. But yeah, this hand, this thing can handle it no problem. You want to print a stormtrooper helmet, whatever, you know. Freaking awesome. It can print ABS. The only problem is that bed takes a really, really long time to heat up, and if you're in a colder environment, it you might not even be able to get to the highest temperature. I would recommend insulating it with some cork board or something, or putting a, one of the silicone pads on there. There's plenty of cheap modifications you can do to make it get to that temperature faster. Because you know, or if you're in a little colder environment, maybe you keep your printer in your basement where it's cooler, or in your garage, or you know, maybe you just living you know in Canada or something, and it's just always a little chillier, you know. But yeah, so. No matter what though, this thing is awesome. It has a MOSFET installed in the box, so you don't have to worry about shorting anything out, you know, or frying, frying anything. Um, it has a single lead screw, which I was a little worried about, but based on how high I printed and how well this worked, I'm actually a big fan of it. By only having one lead screw, you don't have to make sure they're both aligned. You know, that's like one thing that's always a pain with printers is you gotta make sure both, it, it's equal height on both sides. This one, you know, it's only one, so. You don't have to adjust that at all. You know, just got to make sure it's the right level. Um, so bed, extremely, extremely awesome. I've only leveled the bed one time. So I printed these tuning knobs so when I would have to level the bed, it'd be really easy. But I haven't even had to use them. Uh, I leveled the bed the first time. Every print turned out great since then. I've actually had this printer for a week now. Uh, so I just had, this video's taking a little longer to make. So, but I haven't, I haven't had a single problem with it. But it can, you can get it right now for $3.59 on GearBest.com with the code only 50 of these this code only worked 50 times so if you're thinking about this get it this printer get it now okay because 359 is a steal for this thing on Amazon on Banggood this thing is like four hundred and fifty nine dollars or something so it's like a hundred dollars cheaper and the you can get it shipped from the Seattle warehouse so if you live in the USA you can get it nice and quick so first 50 people to use the code in the description with the link you'll be able to get this for three hundred and fifty nine dollars only so, I mean, that this is the cheapest you're ever going to find this thing. So if you're thinking about this printer, I'd get it right now. But yeah, the glass bed, every everything about it is just high quality. The frame is like, everything's made of metal. I mean, it's extremely sturdy. It's, everything's it's very safe. All the controls, the wiring, everything's in this box. So, extremely safe. It, the fan's not too loud. The printer itself isn't very loud, but the, the fan's a little, you know, a little noisy. You could always swap that out with a quieter fan, but it's really, it, it, it's really nothing. You know, unless you had this in your bedroom and you were trying to sleep, it wouldn't really bug you. So, yeah, for $359 for a limited time, crazy cheap price. Uh, I can't, you can't go wrong with that price. So, yeah, thank you so much, GearBest, for sending me this. I've just been blown away by this. So, I'm going to do this in future videos. I'm going to do uh, a video versing this against the Anycubic i3 Mega as well as have some more printers on the way, one which is very similar to this that I'll be versing this up against. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll do a review down the line. But as of right now, this thing is uh, absolutely a bossa nova. So, hell yeah. So thanks again, GearBest. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, it's my birthday. So happy birthday to me, and I'll see you later.